the bathroom with the most magnificent view in all of Alaska. You got that right, Matt. <laughs> That's a million dollar view there. Do you think you have what it takes to live in Alaska? Before we get into that, I'm real estate expert Mark Magstib, and I've created this channel to help you with any of your real estate needs. If you have any questions, you want to find out the value of your home, or you want to sell your property, please subscribe to my channel and get in touch with me today. Let's take a look at this wild show, Living in Alaska. We have a four bedroom, four bath home. It sits on two acres, about 3,700 square feet. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. This is definitely. This is huge. Is this the nice private setting that you're looking for? Can't see your neighbors? Nobody's back here? Nobody's back there. Being from Alaska, we actually lived in this type of a house. It's called an A-frame. And the purpose of that is because we get so much stinking snow in the winter that it just comes off of the roof. Otherwise, there's times if you have a flat roof and that snow builds up, you have to get up there and you have to shovel it off. Otherwise, your roof will probably collapse. So do we get the moose and the bear through here? You will, you will definitely get moose through here. Yeah. And even possible bear. We used to have apple trees and these moose would come and they absolutely loved nibbling on the apples, on the leaves and on the branches. We would run out, they had like a blow horn type thing that would scare them off. They didn't get too spooked. If you see a bear 99% of the time, when they see you, they're gone and you don't see them again. The deck leads to a mother-in-law apartment above the detached garage. We got the kitchen here, a, a bathroom full restroom, right here. yeah. Opens up into a full living area. That type of configuration above the garage would be considered an ADU, which is an accessory dwelling unit. They used to be tougher to build, now they're, they're fairly simple. It's a really nice way to get supplemental income. Um, a lot of times it will just add that value to the property when you sell it. Okay guys, here we are, four bedroom, three bath home. 3,600 square feet. It's priced at 400,000. And get this, five acres. Wow. We had a property recently in La Jolla that was on a flat acre. Five acres, that particular parcel had a little basic fixer, meaning got rid of it. It sold for $6.8 million. Seven times five, you're talking 35 million bucks, and this is on the market for 400,000. I guess you do get your money's worth up in Alaska dealing with those winters. How tall is this ceiling, Chris? Big enough to put a 20 foot Christmas tree in here. Wow. 20 foot ceilings. Your normal basic is eight foot ceilings in your bedrooms. And then you will have some nice great rooms where it's like 15, 20. Anytime you have 20 plus ceilings, that's incredible height. Wow, this is a master bedroom. This is huge. This is huge. This is amazingly huge. The bathroom. It's attached, I like this. This? Are you serious right now? Those little cube blocks, they normally bring light in. And obviously since Alaska, nine months out of the year is pretty dark. Normally what would happen in this scenario that you could battle it is you could just frame that in and put an actual wall there. So now you actually have your separation between the living room. Look at this big open plan here. I actually really like this. I really like when you walk into the house, you walk right into the kitchen and the big open living space. I like the openness of the kitchen, but it definitely needs some updates. You have great use of windows, a spiral staircase in the middle. They always creak. They're just not as functional. And then that kitchen, it's nicely positioned, but yeah, they just it needs everything. You just got to gut that and start fresh. They virtually used wood on every ceiling, wall, in between the windows. There's a lot of land, so they tend to build with lots of wood. That's their accent walls. The no. sun comes in and it heats the house really well I and know. it'll make cheaper bills. He loves the windows and whatnot. I mean, if you have expensive dual pane or triple pane, they're going to hold heat in and they're going to keep the cold out. Looks a little shocking right now, but you could have pool table, foosball table, make it your man cave, put a yeah. big screen TV on the walls. Now you're speaking my language, Ryan. Overall, this house is pretty vertical. It's three different levels plus that basement, but I've actually seen some very, very cool built out basements. They're not as common here in San Diego, but they're real common back in Alaska and like Midwest and stuff like that. You go down there, they're like separate houses and it, it literally is like the play area for kids and you just have all kinds of stuff and games and pool tables. So anyway. One in? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's pretty so nice. this, uh, this whole 
did have a leaky roof around the fireplace, as you can see. There's a little damage. Doing a, it's all fixed. It's got a new roof on it, and this will all be repaired. All right. For one, the realtor's showing in fishing boots. He says, you can see there was a little leak. The whole wall's jacked up. Like, if you have a roof leak, you're going to have to disclose it. But why not fix the wall and paint it and make it look right if you actually have a new roof? This is kind of interesting. Beautiful work. Yeah. <laughs> when this wall gets fixed, this is gonna be a real highlight of this home. So here we have bedroom number one. It's 10 by 12. Is this a master bedroom? Uh, it could be. A little small for a master. An apartment that I rented when I first moved here, the bedroom was 10 by 10. And it's just tight. You throw in a little bed, you can't put a California King, you can't, you know, there's not a lot of space. What is this? That's the breaker panel that runs electricity for the house. I don't like that there at all. You could put a mural of me on there. <laughs> yeah, that's a great perfect. idea, Woody. <laughs> they normally put them inside of a closet, that way you don't see them. The bathroom with the most magnificent view in all of Alaska. You yeah. got that right, Matt. <laughs> that's a million dollar view there. We don't see them a lot, outhouses, but you do see them on a regular basis, especially like in remote areas, because it's really tough to get electrical power and plumbing into these properties to allow you to have like flushing toilets and running water. That lake obviously looks a little bit low because you're walking up, but if that lake was full, which it does rain a lot and it probably will fill up, you got a dude on a boat and you're out there, you know, doing your thing, probably gonna be like, whoa, hey Steve, get out of there. But will the $775,000 price tag scare Woody and Terry away? Beautiful staircase. Yes, what do you see this? Wow, look at these views, Woody. This is a great room, it's huge. Yeah, it is. So I find it kind of interesting that, that, you know, Woody and his crew were looking at a little two bedroom, one bath fixer with an outhouse. And all of a sudden they walk into this big bad boy, 775,000 shop, loads of bedrooms, high ceilings. Normally we try to stick around what they're looking for. So I don't really know if this realtor knows exactly what they're looking for. I guess we'll have to see. Look at those beams up there. Aren't they really cool? Ah, oh, those are awesome. I love all the windows. You have panoramic views with the mountains on one side and the ocean on the other. You know, it's kind of interesting when you talk about beams and exposed beams. There's some people that absolutely love that look. They love the exposed wood look. And there's other people that you want just one beam shooting directly across, tied in. It's simple, it's clean, it's neat. But with a lot of these A-frames, Alaska, they love their wood, so they enforce the heck out of these beams, which is good. You know that roof's not coming down. Oh my God, this is hideous. Ooh, shut the front door. Look at all the brass hardware in here, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is some place we'd really have to consider the cost of a remodel. Oh yeah. Everything in here has got to go. I don't like the linoleum. I don't like the brass. I don't like the lighting. I love how, hey, we shut the front door, man. We got way too much brass. Brass is a little aggressive. I don't know about shiny brass, but gold is in uh, even that little faucet with the open so like the water will run out kind of like cascading down that was pretty fancy for that house just outside is a 2700 square foot shop Woo! this is what i'm talking about right here this is awesome 2700 square foot garage woody fell in love with that at an average price in and around la jolla of about a thousand bucks a square foot that garage would be worth 2.7 million here. Love Alaska. I love some of the houses. Some you, know, you get some uniqueness, you get some craziness. Do you have a favorite real estate show that you want me to react to next? Let me know which show or clips in the comments below. And make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and thanks so much for watching.